number one, it's Phoenix Bondi from Chris Jones Gaming and Bridge Commander Central. This tutorial will help you sort out any problems you've got with animated bizarres or animated textures in general for Star Trek Bridge Commander. You'll need a copy of 3D Studio Max and two copies of Nifscope. You'll need 0.9.8 and 1.1.3. Please install 1.1.3 first, followed by 0.9.8. The reason for this is the exporter, once checked, will automatically load in your scope, and we want it to load into 0.9.8. Now, the other big important thing to do is make sure the part of the ship that is getting animated is one item. So, the three bizarres on my Federation Dreadnought class is, as you can see, three. Three stuck into one mesh. Now what we'll do is export this as bed. Yes, we're gonna click game, bridge commander, check hidden nodes, generate strips, uncheck flat hierarchy, check vertex colors, uncheck update tangent space, check start nip scope, check generate partition strips, and check remove extra bones. At this point, we're going to ignore the animation because it just does not work. So click export. And your NIP scope should load automatically. As you can see, the bizarres are a strange grey colour, but if you click on them, it selects all three. This is the best and easiest way to find them instead of scrolling through all of that. Okay, now hit F2 to bring up your. Uh, block details at the bottom. Okay, the first thing to do is, as I said, make sure you've got your bizarre selected, which, for me, I have done. As you can see, I've named them Clear Dome. So we're going to click the plus sign to bring it down. Where you have actually got one of the nit nitri shapes, right click on it, Node, Attach Property, and we're going to add the Ni Alpha property. Here, where you've got the flag, the flag, and this bit you need to edit. The source blend needs to be changed to source color. The destination is inverted screen alpha. That could be left the way it is. You can play around with this to your heart's content. These are just my preferred settings. Okay, next step, we're gonna actually add the main part to it. We're gonna click on the texture property the little flower. Now this will bring up an area where your files should be. Now the IFL that you've probably made is not needed anymore. So click on the first texture of the animation. Right click, block and copy. Then click back on the texture property. Right click, block, insert. Find the NIF flip controller. Now as you can see, it's right down at the bottom. Don't worry about that at the moment, it will be brought back up in a minute. So what we're gonna do is go back to here, find the texture property, the controller. We need to make sure that is the nit flip controller, which is 108 on my screen. So we're gonna click on the controller, 108. And as you see, it's brought the flip controller up to us. Click on the flag, active, cycle, accept. Now, with the target, we're going to change that to the texture property, which is 107. As you can see there, 107 nigh texture property. So we've now added that, and it will appear down here. Now, back to the knee flip controller. Your frequency, you would like one. The stop time we'll start at 1.778 and for the delta which is roughly the speed of the animation we're going to go 0 0.1111 now the num source which if we drag this out which is number of sources explains how many images are needed for said animation so for me because i'm in a complete full we've got 16 Go down to image, 
array update and that will bring them all down here. This is the most tedious part of it but as you can see really simple block paste back up to clip controller block paste block paste I'm going to pause it here until I've got all the rest done but it's the same all the way down okay okay as you can see I now have all 16 nine images set up now what we need to do is tell them what image it is the flowers down the side here if you just click on it buzz of two Fifteen, and finally number sixteen. Right. Now what we're going to do is save that. We're going to quickly minimise that. Open up one point one point three. We're going to load the federation that we've just done. It's not opening from my shortcut, so I do apologise about that. So I'm going to go to D, Program Files, NIF Tools, NIF Scope, NIF Scope. Oh, this just isn't funny. It doesn't want to open my newer version now, does it? No point. Okay, what we're going to do then, just to test it, we're going to close the main one. Close the secondary one. Try opening this scope 1.1.3 again. Oh look, it's done it this time. Open Federation. Move around it. And there you go. Look, your buzzards are animated. That is it. Done. As easy as that. Don't save over it. Close it. Your NIF's now ready to go in game. And that is it. Any questions, feel free to get hold of me over at the forums. or the other forums over at Chris Jones Gaming. I'm easily available, you can also catch me on Skype. If you are part of the BC network, you, should, you can find my details to contact me over there, or the Chris Jones Gaming. I will answer any questions, or help any way I can. Thanks for watching, and I hope it all works for you.